Okay, this is the brand new World of Outlaws game. Thought I might try and record some of this. And get out of here before the music starts, please. Um, may only be a one-off, but I might also do a series. I'm going to start a career. I I know very little about anything. I've tried to look up as few Dirt details as possible. Dirt in local tracks all across America. Every successful driver has been a local hometown hero at some point, and then moved up to regional events and ultimately into the national level with the World of Outlaws. Uh-huh. I think it's uh, really important at the local level to, you know, build your fan base, interact with your fans, interact with the local community. Uh, you know, right. it's very important to, you know, be learning and, and try to become that hometown hero. Obviously, as you move into the regional level, uh, you got to earn respect. Uh, you got to win races outside of your hometown. Once you're at the national level, you have a lot more people relying on you. Uh, it becomes a lot more of a job. You know, you have to have a lot of mental toughness. Uh, it's a grind out here. It's easy to say that you want to go race with the outlaws, but when you pack your bag and you load your trailer with stuff and you, you head out on the road, um, it's like a beatdown. It's uh, probably one of the toughest things physically, mentally, financially, all of the above. And you get run down when you're a weekly racer or you can pick and choose. You get to go home if things aren't right. You hit the reset button. Uh, when you're outlaw tough, there's no reset button. There, there's When it starts, there's no stopping. My main mentors growing up through racing was my dad. It was a you long know, he was opening. He there with me through go-karts and then... You know, as I got a little bit older, it's Casey Kane. I leaned on, you know, Casey Kane quite a bit. A sponsorship is obviously really important in racing. Um, I've been fortunate to have some great sponsors along the way. One key to, to running a successful race team is obviously the people that you have around you. It all starts with a great crew chief, great tire guys, and you got to have great marketing people to help pull it all together. So it's important to have a great team around you. When you dream of being in this sport uh, as a child, you just dream about being a sprint car driver. And then when you become a sprint car driver, you dream of being an outlaw and you race them with the, the greats that there are, the, the Steve Kinders, the Sammy Swindells. You never really can put to the ground the fact that maybe you're gonna be uh, in that position one day where you're one of those guys. Now it's your turn to take your shot. Your goal is to build up a solid reputation sign sponsorship and continue to grow your organization all while winning lots of races but no matter what path you take in your career your ultimate goal is to become a world of outlaws series champion good luck out there we're all rooting for you okay uh i decided to record all that in case anyone wants to follow along and see how the career mode is exactly um i am seeing all of this for the very first time First step in starting your own racing team is to pick your team branding. Can I make one? Nasty Badger. Oh, custom. That's what we want. Can we change the logo? I hope. I mean, Nasty Badger is pretty cool. But, uh... Let's see if we can change the logo at some point. Company name. Uh, good thing there's no character limit. Perfect. Perfect. Type a name for me. Now, if you're just watching this and haven't seen any of my other videos, I mostly just do eye racing, and con will continue to do that. But I thought this might be fun. We'll see. I'm not really huge into dirt. I think it's pretty fun. But I haven't had much experience watching it or seeing much of anything. And I tried to not look up anything about this game. I've seen some stuff. But I wanted to 
try and keep it fresh. Also, I'm going to leave timestamps down in the video so you can skip all these parts that you may not want to see, like me customizing the suit. Wow. Okay. Can I make this look just like my iRacing suit? It's basically like this. It's gonna be pretty basic. I don't I don't want a pattern. I want gray on gray. On black. <laughs> Perfect. Shapes. A rectangle. Oh wow. I don't think I want a shape. Can we delete that? Decals. We might want a decal. Metro plumbing. Wind tires. Can we make our own decals at any point? Is that a possibility? I racing. Hoosier. Mm-hmm. We'll put a little eye racing decal on there. We need it to be much smaller, though. I don't want anything huge. Oh my. Perfect, I guess. Um, I don't want a white helmet. We want black. We want black, and then we want even blacker black. And then we want not brown. Why would it be brown? Uh-huh. Location, helmet, suit. I we might be able to change all this later. I might change more stuff later. We'll see, but for now, let's start. I got an achievement. Started my own racing team. It takes a lot of work to build it from the ground up. In order to succeed, you need to win races, invest in vehicles and personnel, expand your HQ. Hometown start. Head to the local. Right. Do I have to pick Indiana? I can't change the... Uh... This is the branding. Can I, ch I can't change the location, I guess, of the HQ. It does not look like it. You'll be starting with 10 grand. Enough to buy your first vehicle and get started. As you progress, regional additional vehicles will become available. Each Earn money to buy more vehicles. Pretty easy to understand. I think I want to start street stock. I think that'd be cool. Now we have no money. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to edit this. This might take a little while. I may do a pretty basic just because, I mean, we're just starting out and we shouldn't have that many sponsors, probably. And probably not even pay much for a paint job or spend enough, spend much time or money on a paint job. So I think I'm just going to go a solid color. The dark gray, that's not a solid color. Everybody runs gr dark gray, black for their local street stock. Okay. Roll cage. Um, no. We'll do that black. We'll do that slightly lighter gray, actually. Rim style. I want those black as well, I think. Very boring, but... Oh, we can change the top as well. I'm going to customize more as we get more money, I think. Let's try and keep it very basic to start with. Uh-huh. Shapes. 
I don't think I want any shapes. Decals, is this the same kind of brown pasture? Bob's Towing, Nine Racing, Third Street, Fanatec, I Racing, Fox, Brickwell. I don't think we want anything. Um, for the shape, I'm curious. Does this cover up the contingency stickers? It does not. Okay. Delete that. I gotta change the number though. That's driving me nuts. Nope. <clears throat> that is not a cool font. Let's find a font that isn't like that. They just have like a block. That's like the Hendrix style. I guess we'll do that then. I want uh, normal. I don't want any type of pattern inside there. Fill. Um, I usually go with white numbers. So we'll do that. Outline. I got an idea. Let's do black for this one. And then for the offset, we'll do something else. Or does that not look very good? What if we did black numbers and a white outline and a white offset or a dark gray offset? No, it's too hard to see, I think. Let's do white numbers. Off-white numbers. Outline will be black. Because the car is not technically... There's not f completely black, so you can kind of still see the outline. And then we'll do... We'll just do black with this as well. All right. I need to change the position, not the scale. We need to go center of the door, please. <laughs> please. That looks good. Can I copy that to the, the other side? Uh, 131 on the x-axis. The roof, let's change that color to... Oh, you can't. It's all the same. I thought you might be able to change the color for one section. We don't need the number on the hood. The car number needs to be 131. No, negative 131. I believe, right? Is that what it was? Looks pretty good. Let's check the... Yep, okay. So that should be even on both sides. The rear it doesn't need to be that big. Uh, there we go. I might have... Okay, it's uniform. Can we put this over the headlight, perhaps? No. We'll put it top right corner. Uh-huh trunk doesn't need one all right so we're starting off with no money we just bought us a chassis bought us a car actually pretty basic save changes there it is little black car and we're going to Kokomo apparently I have no contracts next event all right let's go Perfect. Quarter mile, multi groove, low banking, sunset time of day, nine laps. Can you change? I wonder if I can change the settings to make longer races or if this series just has um, short races in the local section. I can do a custom setup. Oops, wait. No, don't leave. 
What does the setup screen look like? How do I edit it? Custom qualify setup. It says edit setup on the bottom right, but I don't know how to get to that. Maybe I can't yet. We'll do 50% loose, sure. Let's go out and practice. I have no idea how this is going to feel like. Car looks great. Oh my. How do you change views? That is the pause screen, or the screenshot. Oh, what happened? The goal, okay, that's change views. In car, do I want to do in car? I might want to do in car. All right. This looks like Kokomo. 50% loose might be a little too loose. Man, we got a whole hour to be here. I'm sure this is top line dominant. What's our target? Goal is 16261. I think we should run the top. The graphics are pretty good. Oh yeah, top way faster. Oops. I'm wall riding. Pretty sure there'd be music playing at this point. I turned all that off because YouTube hates that. I'm gonna be extremely slow. Do I have a position? Whoa, buddy. I wonder if you get penalized for getting damaged. I wonder if the... I keep overcorrecting out of the corner. I wonder if you're gonna have to spend money on repairs for the car. Oh yeah, we're gonna be awful in this race. Well, I don't really know what I can do about it. Let's try to run low. Oh my goodness, this is not going to be good. Can we do some laps here? One car sounds cool. Well, the graphics do look pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's better than I expected them to. I'm going to get tired. Ow! We have arrow damage in practice. How do we end practice? Um, uh, end practice. Here's a look at the speed chart after hot laps. Um, what is this telling me here? 15.9 was my best lap. I, is it just ranking the laps, not ranking me against the other drivers? Congratulations, you beat the pole goal time, or the practice goal time. Good luck in qualifying. Aha. Uh -huh. Continue practice. Wait, can I just go? in practice. Wait, actually, I want to see what what does driving aids do? Hard expert stability help. Um, I guess we'll do hard for now. I want to see if I can change career settings have like edit the uh I know I can edit the AI settings. I wonder if I can edit the length of the races as well. I would like a little bit longer races, probably. Alright, let's qualify. We'll try and race from third person for a while. When I played Forza years ago, I used to race first person. For whatever reason. I'm gonna run the top. I'm gonna hit the wall and lose much of my time. That felt like a good corner. How many laps do I get? 16-1. Oh, I get two laps. Now I'm just wall riding. That looks like I'm playing eye racing on here. <laughs> this is not going to be a good lap. Man, I think we're going to be extremely slow in this race. 35th? <laughs> I didn't know there was going to be that many people here. Heat 3, starting ninth.
wow, we weren't the worst. Norm Gray down there in the H25 car was the worst. Or maybe he wasn't. No, he was. He qualified 35th out of 40. Samantha Bell up there on pole. I guess there's going to be heats. Well, it's good to know that we're not the worst person here. We're in heat three. Can we make the feature? Man, I don't know what to do with the setup. Top five advance to the A main. I didn't read that in time before it disappeared. Here in our little Monte Carlo looking thing. I'm not gonna press the middle button to reset my car. That's crazy talk. If I make a mistake, that's on me. They're all running the bottom. Okay, well, I apologize, whoever that was. <laughs> the 192 car. I've not quite figured out how to slow down. We need to be top five, right? Now they're running the top. And we're so slow through the center of the corner. We're gonna be in the B main, probably. C main, even. We need to run the bottom. Leaders are up there running the top, but I just can't get it to see. We're getting too sideways to the corners, I think. Slide job. Slide job. And that was a quick race. Was that nine laps? Oh, we're in the B main. <laughs> that did not feel like nine laps. That felt like, like four. Man, we were terrible. How do I be better? I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna change the setup, why not? Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's square to change the setup. I thought that was a box that I had to check. That's freaking square. Duh. Okay, this is, uh... I'm not gonna know how to do any of this. Am I? Oh lord, I'm gonna have to figure that out. We're gonna do, uh. We're gonna loosen it up a bit. I think. I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're slow. Top five in math, advanced to the main. We're starting 11th. We got a lot of ground to make up. Jerry Clark. Eddie Crawford. We don't need to go through all that, do we? <laughs> Going green! How many laps do we have? Tell me. One of four. Only four laps in a in a consolation race. How many laps were in our heat? Wow, they are all up there on the top side. We can just dive it down. I'm lifting completely off the gas. Slamming into the side of the 192 again. hit those tires. Oh, that was a perfect corner. We are in fifth. We are close to advancing to the A main. Just can't give up any more spots. We've done nothing but gain them in this this uh, B main, though. That's good. Oh, yeah. Now we got speed. What happened? We just changed the setup a little bit. Slam into the back of the 15. That's fine. Slam into the side of the 91. We can use their tires as the brakes for the corner. We don't need to slow down. We're going to the A main. Starting 23rd. That speed kind of came out of nowhere. I wonder what our lap times there were. Is there a way to check? Probably not. 62% loose. The National Anthem. <laughs> Alright. The A main. Nine laps. These really need to be like 40, I think. Like the main races, at least. These little short tracks. Or the little local races. 40 is probably a good number. I think this is only going to be nine laps, which is very short. We'll see if we can change that. Alright, we're just using everyone else as the brakes. That's fine. 
Definitely a lot more cars out here now. Are you gonna make money from this? I think we were overdriving it in the other races in practice. So I'm letting off the gas now and it's sticking a lot better. Oh, I just wrecked a guy. Oh. We're not making any friends out here. <laughs> to 18th, seven laps to go. I think I'm definitely going to lengthen the races if I can. I like a little bit longer. There's a plane flying over. I don't think we're going to get any more spots. Some ground out of the corner, I think. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm catching. Everyone else is not getting that sideways. Anymore. That felt like the perfect corner right there, but just about as fast as all the other ones I can. Look at the map. <laughs> you can see them like all the different lines they're taking. The bottom left, the mini map. Track map. We're just gonna get 18th, aren't we? We're just not very quick. Might be able to sneak a 17th, but we only have two laps left. This 28 car is slowing way down. We run the top, try to run the top, and are just much, much slower. He's taking my line away. I'm not going to be able to pass him. Gonna dive it on the inside, do a slide job. Can I make it stick? Get the wall a little bit. We steal 17th. <laughs> Great job to me for being not the slowest car. We made it to the A main. I think that's pretty good for our first race ever. If I had to if I had to say. After that practice section, um, I did not expect to uh, beat anybody. So we actually gained 116 points season standing 17th. Very good. Finish event confirmed. Not too bad there. We gained almost three grand. And now all our parts are completely busted. <laughs> I wonder if that damage we got hitting the tire barrier in practice destroyed the car for the event. Career options. Let's see this. Um, gameplay. Race length. Okay. Um, we're going to do, it was at 30. Let's do, because twice that's going to be 9, 18. Let's do 100. Let's see what that looks. Flags, let's do strict yellow. That'll be cool. Let's try that. Driving, that's fine. Um, everything else I don't think I need to change. All right, we changed the race length. Let's see how that feels. We can change that back anytime. How do I fix the car? Parts and repairs. Tire value. Uh, I can upgrade them. Parts play a crucial role in your vehicle's performance and durability. Purchasing and upgrading parts is key to your success on the track. Purchasing parts that cost money. Upgrading. Can be Things can be upgraded three times. Oh, we can do that. We can afford that. That's cheap. Let's upgrade level one. Can we repair them though? 3% durability. Oh wait, repair tires, three bucks. We'll do that. Repair the suspension, $7. Repair the chassis, $8. Repair the engine, $15. I don't know where we're, uh, I guess we're working on the car ourselves, aren't we? 
tires are probably important. Um, let's upgrade the tires. We'll do the third one already because that's $120 and we have plenty of money. Can I upgrade these and add to the performance? Oh, I can. So they, they stack. All right. Even a fully upgraded level 1 is not as good as a non-upgraded level 2, so that's good to know. Um, I think we spend all the money we have upgrading. We can actually maybe buy... That's 5 grand for a new suspension. It's more expensive for all these other parts. Let's upgrade the suspension. Let's just do all the upgrades see what that gets us. We'll keep level 1 for everything. I imagine level 1 is probably the cheapest to repair as well. I imagine everything just gets more expensive. We got $1,200. Can we upgrade the engine? I think so. Oh, we can't get the final upgrade. Alright, that's okay. Schedule... Nine race season, we're going to Grant Park Speedway next. We have 296 fans, how about that? Let's try that race out. Three-eighths mile, we're racing at night. Indiana. I'm going to switch the setup to 62% uh, loose again. We'll try this out. Target is an 18-9. This looks like Knoxville, sort of. I mean, it looks almost exactly like Knoxville, actually, without the berm. Maybe this is a real track, I don't know. They're up running by the wall, whoever that is up there. Time looks like we will by eight tenths. Got me up on the video board up there, my third person view. Alright. I think we're good. We'll in practice, we'll qualify here. Let's check out the leaderboard. I'll see how long this race is at 100%. Qualifying time. Same setup, I imagine. I'm gonna try and run the bottom. That worked well at Kokomo. Who knows if that'll work on every track. I imagine it won't. Should get two laps, I believe. Completely mess up one and two here. Better three and four that time. Seventeen six, that's way better than our practice time. Where's that gonna put us? I like this big arc I can take through the corners. That felt good. That can be better than the 17.6, and I think it's the exact same. 22nd. Better than the Kokomo qualifying. We're going to be in Heat 2 this time. Ned Montgomery qualified 20th. I'm pretty sure all these are fake people. Alright, top two advance to whatever qualified dash is. Here we go. Starting on the outside. Start for us. I wish I had not started on the outside. We'll do a crossover here on the number seven car. Ten laps for the heat race, that sounds about right. A little bit better than whatever it was with the other one. Three. Can't even do anything with three laps. Okay. 
that's okay. Oh yeah, if we get that big arc through the corners, this feels pretty good. I kind of cross over down on the little apron area. They got a little white line painted. We're in fifth. Let's say top five advanced. That red car up there is really running the top line. And he's making it work. I am not good at top line. Comp cams. Oh yeah, we can run right down here by the bottom. The inside wall. Pretty quick. I'm pushing a little bit here. I'm not going to got bogged down a little bit, but couldn't get around the 66 there up Brooks. I don't know if we can make this pass. Might be able to dive it in deep here. Halfway. We clear him. Honestly, we may not even need the lift. If I just let go of the left joystick a little bit, the car kind of turns by itself until I drag the wall. I can kind of just pull throttle down here. I have been lifting on entry, letting the car set. I guess I don't need to over the engine. Oh my. I nearly put it in the wall hard. Three laps to go. The top three are pulling away, but we're settled here in fourth. Two laps to go. These front three are way too quick. And I missed the corner. Looking in the mirror. We lost the spot to the 66. I think we can get it back. Make some contact. We'll clear him. We got it. It's fine. Don't worry. Oh, he's going to beat us. Gosh dang it. I freaking looked up for a second at the mirror and completely missed the corner. Well, we're going to the A main still starting 18th. All right. Matt, Margie. Margie? Margie Brooks, Blake Schneecloth, got the win. Okay, starting the A main. Crazy little local short track got slashed to play the uh, national anthem, but uh, here we go. <laughs> All right, how many laps is this going to be? 25. I mean, that's perfectly reasonable right there. Even a little bit short even for a main for the feature. Right. Very slow here on entry. I wonder if the parts are going to be completely deteriorated after every race, or if they were just so broken because I slammed into that tire barrier at the beginning of the Kovalo race. It's the 66 again. Slide up to the center a little bit, but we're okay. The red car, I think the 11 that was running the top in, in our heat race, is stuck on the bottom now, so it's not as quick. I think that's him. I don't know if we need to speak well. We're in 13th, looking pretty good, honestly. Moving forward a little bit. I think a little lift on entry is the way to go. It keeps the car from sliding up too much. A little contact with the 105, or like the 3 and 4 wide here. Oh, big contact up ahead. I wonder if they can wreck on their own. I bet they can. And there are cautions, apparently. We're moving forward here. Uh 
up to 10th. I want to keep the difficulty where I'm not winning every single race and blowing the, the AI away. I want to keep it kind of realistic. I wouldn't come out here and dominate these first car. I definitely did not dominate Kokomo. But I'm moving up here. Oh, I did not know that guy was there. I almost destroyed him. I'm trying to arc it on entry, but a guy has gotten to my inside now. Cleared him. I do like the bottom way better. Get away, X90. Jones. Oh, we're entering way too low. We're going to slide up into him. He's turning me. We're fine. <laughs> Thought we were going to spin right there. It's an M cross. Fancy meeting him here. Of course, he's running the iRacing car. Hope everyone is nice on the voice chat. Yeah, we're up to eighth. Almost to the top five. We've got more than half the race left. Past the green car. Gonna get on the inside of Nim. Fifteen laps to go. Hill up here. Just past Nim, but he's gonna get a run on the outside. Clears us down the straightaway. Okay. I cannot get around Nim. I think I may not be called Nim Cross, but he's got the I racing car, so that's what I'm calling him. Oh, he gets boxed in by Hill. I can use the pick. <laughs> you just see him slamming into the back of him on corner entry. Hill is kind of slowing everybody down. We're almost up to fifth now, though. We are in fifth, passing Hill. Maybe some lap traffic up ahead. I think there are. I think the leader is the one on the mini map shown that's the other number, so 79. So he's like nearly lapped us. He's half a lap behind us. So we got no no chance of catching him. But we have driven up into the top five, so that's cool. I had a terrible corner exit that time. I got green car back in front of us. Gonna maybe hold him off. There's the guy in 25th. So we are starting to lap people. We're up in the top lane. Looking pretty good. I'm getting into a bit of a groove here. A bit of a rhythm. We're kind of taking up two lanes down here on the bottom. Holding off all the people we've passed. Work our way around these lap cars. I think there's two lap cars here racing each other. I don't know where the next guy for position is. Okay. We're clear this guy. These guys are racing for position here. 23rd and 24th. This is going to be a good corner. Really good to drive off. guys six laps to go this is definitely a much better feature length than the uh, ten laps or whatever we had a couple more nine laps I like this way better oh good grief green just totally passed me there Let's see if we can get him back I would love a top five can we please get a top five this guy's looking all kinds of messed up swervy <laughs> I think we're quicker, we just need to hit our lines. Pull away from there a little bit. I should probably turn off the mirror, you don't get that in dirt ropes anymore. Just have to see where I can do that. We're still in fifth. That lap car in front of us, running our line. We'll get to his inside here though. Three laps to go. 
slide up. The lap car still there, maybe not. Okay, that felt pretty good. Two laps to go. We've actually, no, I thought we almost caught the guy seeing the square down in the bottom left get closer, but he's almost getting ready to lap us now. He's in the 79. I think we pulled away from 6th place yet. I think he's still right behind us. We got 5th though! That was a good race! We were much better there than we were at Kokomo. Yeah, that guy lapped all the way up to 6th. Jeez. I will take that. Much better than 17th. Uh, let's view the full season standings. We're up to 13th now with 256 points. 79, who just won, is in second. Blake Schneekloth, 286 points. He's two points ahead of the guy in second. And uh, that's Jeremy Cross in the one car, the iRacing car, whoever that is. I'm calling him Nim from now on. Jeremy, Nim. We got three grand. We sold $27 worth of merch. Didn't we almost get paid three grand for the 17th place at Kokomo? What's the deal with that? Was that this just a low purse today? Or is it mostly payout to the... Uh... Okay, so they all didn't... They didn't completely deteriorate, so that's good. A new video message. Alright, let's check that out, I guess. I know it's tough in these first few events. I remember when I was just starting out at my local track many years ago. But you're doing great. Just keep focusing on doing your best. And try to get into as many features as you can. The sponsors out here like to see consistency. If you do that, your fan base will start to build. And you'll be heading out to regional events in no time. Just remember to sink as much money back into your car as possible. It will help you stay competitive. Good luck out there. That guy totally wasn't reading off a script at all. <laughs> hey, Fairbury. Okay. Sponsor contract opportunities. Extra value. Um, where do we see that? Can we see... Contract opportunity. I can see the stats for all the people. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. We have one top five, one top ten. Two top 20s. Average finish of 11th. Not too bad. I guess when we get to the next race, it'll show us how we can get that contract to get a sponsor. But I think for this first one, this first video... Oh, cool. So, Eldora, Fairbury again, Kokomo, Elm Creek. I don't know some of those. I know Fairbury and Eldora and Kokomo, obviously. I think for this first video, though, we'll call it. I think this will be a lot of fun. Um, let me know if you want me to do more. If you don't want me to do more, then I guess I won't, but it could be fun to do. Seems to be pretty fun. Pretty cool little uh, career mode they got. Hopefully we can get that contract. I wish I could see what I need to do, but I'm sure I have to go to the race first. But I'll make sure to repair all these back at 100%, upgrade that final engine part, maybe buy a new tier two thing we'll see but until then thanks for watching